Hello my soccer universe. Well, this is daring. Um, you have seen my recent video where I unpacked this Austria Salzburg jersey, which as I said, was kind of a sentimental shirt for me and I found it for a really, really good price. Uh, I also recently unpacked this Mainz jersey here and I have to say overall uh, my German and Austrian Bundesliga background is in pretty good shape. I even have a double for Köln and I have a few doubles for Lars Kaiver. If there's another team doing well, I would have to switch around. I also know that, you know, I cannot make a pure German background. Not necessarily uh, so keen on making a purely Austrian background, but hey. So I was going back and forth, yeah. Maybe I need one more or two more, better two more German teams. And I've been scouring because I know I got um, I, I will get some extra cash. Yes, I know this is um, spending money you don't have yet, but this is very, um, how do I say, very reliably. I know that to the end of the month on my birthday, I will get some extra cash. And I said, okay, let's uh, take half of that and uh, spend it now. Because on this used jersey side, they had um, an offer for about four days where if you order, you get the shipping for free if you use their internal system, the one that the seller of the Salzburg jersey didn't want to use. And so I was looking for German jerseys and I think I only found a Leverkusen jersey uh, from 2004, which I don't really like that much and he didn't use the system. So what's the point? I saw a really nice Dortmund shirt but you know, this would be just doubling up. Uh, the Dortmund shirt was 11-12 with the dots from Kappa. I, I was very, very close uh, to get that one. Um, but then it downed on me. Oh, yeah, and I saw a, a RC Lance shirt, which I also didn't like, which for the French Dutch background, I also need basically one more team to really fill it in and maybe two or three more to have a little bit more flexibility. So this is where my collecting for the next year will go to because we are talking here more or less the last uh, buys for me for this year. And then down on me, well, I have broken down that Salzburg, uh, the barrier with Austrian teams by getting Salzburg. Let's look for some other Austrian teams. And what can I tell you? Voila. I got two. I found two. And I said, okay, we have broken down the barriers, we might as well obliterate them. So these are two more Austrian teams. And as I said, uh, this is now team. Lask, of course, is number one and will always remain the only one that I really care about and uh, support. However, you know, um, to be fair, there are some Austrian teams that actually I'm thinking deserve because of their historical significance and so on to be there, even though I do not really like them, although here one was not so bad. So you get here two unpackings for one. Uh, let's open this bigger box first. I usually, Christmas or for birthdays, I always open the big box last because most of, most of the time, at least as a boy, I learned the big uh, box contains the big present that you've been way waiting for. So you first get the smaller ones to be really, um, you know, to appreciate them as well. And then uh, you get really, really happy with the big one because that's the one you've been looking for. Uh, this one, this package comes from the southern part of Austria, or southeastern part of Austria. So now if you know the geography, uh, you probably will see it. It is maybe not the ideal jersey, but I think it's a rather, rather beautiful jersey. Uh, did I do it now wrong? Okay. I should have opened the other one first, but that makes it now silly. So, <laughs> I opened the other one, but I will tell you the story. <laughs> These are all spontaneous, there's nothing scripted. So, uh, it's maybe not the um, perfect jersey for this particular team, but it's I really, really liked it. And it also has a name and number. And both of these jerseys cost me um, 20 euros plus uh, the one euro shipping. So, rather, rather in inexpensive. And this one, uh, not only has um, is a as I said is a beautiful jersey. The player on there, I checked him because I wasn't re re really aware of him. Uh, turn turns out he played in his youth for Lusk, and on top of it, he grew up 
in the same neighborhood as I did in Linz, where I'm kind of still living, like down the hill here, and he played for the local soccer team Sankt Magdalena. So I thought this is a sign that I should get this one. It's also a manufacturer that I don't have too many jerseys of. And it's an XL, so I guess this is a sign. Uh, checking the jersey, this, yeah, it's, it's really, really nice. I have to say, this is a really, really nice shirt, and I'll show it to you. The team in question, of course, is, and I, you may argue, argue with me, but I think design-wise, this is the more beautiful shirt uh, we're talking about. Sturm Graz, this is, I think, from the 16-17 season. So they didn't even play against Lask there, because 16-17 was the last season that Lask played in the second league so far. Uh, at the moment of recording, and I hope we will never go in the second league back again. Uh, but, you know, Lask is Lask. So we have this pinstriping. Sturm Graz usually plays uh, like Lask in black and white stripes. But yeah, uh, I really, really like the like design. Lotto, of course, puts Lotto logos everywhere, uh, especially on the sleeves, so they are in blue. Um, maybe the color I would have loved if it's not like only one side in black or whatever. Uh, that could have been more. But yeah, uh, nice logo. It has a little shine to it now. With the, and it has even a nice effect on the Lotto logo here. Of course, I said there's a name set back there. It's number 13. Piesinger, and I have to say it's a really nice name set even with you know the ST for Sturm in there So I have to say I'm very pleased with that one now that I see it uh, The interesting part is that the sleeves. I don't know if it's 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 a ventilated material So this is very very interesting So yeah, uh, Punta Gamma of course is the local beer So we have another beer sponsor and this one is plastic on but this one is sublimated which I also find kind of kind of interesting I have to say a really beautiful shirt um, Reminiscent of the Lusk European homes, but I have to say, I'll, yeah, I really like this one. And I have to say, while the blue is maybe not the super color here uh, together with the sponsor, cannot complain. Rather happy with that one, despite it not being a team that I support. Now, you see already a problem that I saw, because the other thing, when I make my backgrounds is, I'm always want to have many colors and the one thing that really bugs me here for instance for the German yeah the Hertha Berlin is a dark blue but there's not really blue and I you know Schalke jerseys um maybe I couldn't find a Schal Schal Schalke jersey but they are re relatively cheap so, so that's for me is an obvious one missing but I said okay I need a little bit more color because now for if I have Austrian jerseys we have a white Salzburg maybe I can put a black Lask there or a reddish so to uh if there's an away game then I have a kind of white Sturm jersey which also yeah I could have it could have been a different color, so I wanted to add a little bit more color. And I, sc I scouted a little bit more, and now we get to the second box. And then I found, a, I have to say, despite me really, really, really not liking this team. I think of all the teams in Austria, yes, with the Red Bull Empire, it's not a Red Bull jersey. Uh, with the Red Bull Empire, I have, you know, this is more on a moral level of what they, they, they did to the team by just uh, taking the colors and making completely something else out there. That's why this is, this is a stand in now for everything South, Salzburg to piss basically everyone in Salzburg off the Red Bull teams because they don't recognize the purple and, and, and anymore. And Austria Salzburg are PP piss off because I use it as a stand in for Red Bull. But of course, I need another big team. I want to have another big team. And yeah, so it goes to Vienna. Purple or green and white. And I saw for both teams for the same price, but I decided to only get one because this one that I have here, I hate the team to my guts. But that shirt was just too beautiful. Really, this is such a classic look. It was just too good to pass up. Um, and there is a high chance I may never wear this one, but it will serve very well on this on the background. We are talking about this Rapid Vienna Beauty. This was, I think, 08, 09 in long sleeve. And by the seller, it was worn once. And it really looks like this. It is sponsorless. That is for me, I mean, first of all, this is what Rapid should look like. Green and white stripes, and it's the perfect striping. This is my, uh, the, the striping I would prefer on Milan, the, the striping I prefer on Rapid as well, or many other teams except Barcelona. Then it came long sleeve, but especially that it came sponsorless. This was for me 
the main reason I got this one. The sponsor would have been a kind of orangey white Wien Energy that they had forever. Um, it has the perfect color. Maybe the sleeves could have been a little bit striped if they were not pure uh, green. This might be the only bone of contention here. Uh, it is a blank, but I have to say, I said, okay, I really do not like this team. However, they are such a big factor in Austria that, yeah, they deserve to be up there. That they're in the wall. Uh, same goes for Bayern Munich. I do not like Bayern, Bayern Munich, but uh, yeah, you got to do it. And uh, absolutely, this is such a beautiful, beautiful repeat shirt. And I'm saying this in a way, biting my tongue. The climber cool is a little bit, a little bit damaged, but that's a minor thing. Otherwise, super condition. So, yeah. As I said, it adds a little bit more color. We still don't have much blue, but there is enough. Uh, there are enough other colors here for my Germany background. So yeah, as I said, I with these two shirts, I completely obliterated that boundary of getting other Austrian teams. I have now, besides Lusk, three others. And yeah, I saw a really nice Austria Vienna shirt too that I hope will be around uh, next time I'm shopping too. Because that's probably the other team that should be in there. Uh, let's face it. Uh, every, other than those five teams. Innsbruck is nowhere at the moment. Wacker Innsbruck. Which would be the sixth team that I would recognize as one that should be up there. Uh, but uh, outside of those. There's not really all that much. I mean there are some curious teams. You saw my Austrian Bundesliga review. But yeah. Sturm Graz. Rapid Vienna, Salzburg, Austria Vienna and Lusk for me are the teams that have the biggest potential of, of remaining big uh, if they're well uh, led. Austria Vienna needs to go through financial trouble. Lusk had their fair share of trouble, but uh, just given the size of the towns that they these are, Vienna is by far the biggest. Then we have uh, Graz and Linz almost level in size. Salzburg is behind and then it would be Innsbruck. Uh, there should be teams in those cities and then we can see how the others develop um but yeah one boundary broken i think i don't want to say the floodgates opened but you know i will not be as hesitant anymore and i have to say both shirts so i show it to you again the sturm graz shirt with the name set piesinger guy who grew up in Linz is from Linz so that's nice and then Rapid Vienna um, yeah uh, Rapid Wien really really cannot complain in any case let, let me know what you thought about these two shirts give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more I will talk to you soon bye I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day.